inspiration is um, what's happening in the world. And so right now I'm working on a, um, you know, a series that has to do actually with the violence that's in our culture, especially around black men. I am trying to think about that and figure out how that manifests itself in my work. Because if I can say one thing about art, it's about being brave. It's about being willing to fail. How can I, as, as my life as an example, show that I can have differences with people, I cannot agree, and still there's enough ground for us both to stand on. That's what I think art has a possibility of doing, is transforming how people problem solve. How do we d determine the shows that are gonna happen at the Northwest African American Museum? That really comes as a function of our mission and vision. And the mission and vision of the, of the Northwest African American Museum, which is not my mission and vision, but one that has come from the community itself. And people decided that they wanted a museum that told the stories of African Americans who come from work and live in the Northwest. In some way, we have to come up with a link to how it helps us tell the stories. And I think that the museum is an example of community dreaming, of community manifesting a dream through a lot of hard work. We as human beings have the possibility of making something where there was nothing, and that if you can imagine something, if you can dream about it, and if you can visualize it clear enough, then it's possible for you to make a thing. I'm a storyteller, a recycler of memory and everyday acts, dinner, reading, fishing, sex, bedtime, birth, love, death. I reshape the common experience and give it back in image and word. I'm a book lover, and the word is the sound of the idea of the thing named. In the reading room, you're in the reading room, the trumpet sounds, the cock crows, fish hatch, waters rise, houses flood, winds blow, and I'm damned and redeemed every day.